Hello everyone, welcome to video 34 of chapter 3. In this video, we continue our study on convexity and we now look at vertex of a convex set. So here is the definition, a vertex. It is also called, more generally, an extreme point of a convex set S is a point of S such that this point is not the half sum of y plus z over 2 of two distinct points y and z of S. So in other words, if you can find two distinct points y and z, both are in S, and the midpoint between them, the half sum of that is your point, then that cannot be a vertex. Okay, so we will um, take some examples to get ourselves more familiar with the concept. Let's start with uh, the simplest possible example. Let's say in 1D, we are looking at the interval from A to B for the x values, where A is strictly less than B. Then um, we see that, okay, so we claim that x equal A and x equal B are two vertices of this set. How do you prove such a claim? Okay, let's um, take a look at the proof. We will prove it for the point x equal a, and the part for x equal b is totally similar, we leave as an exercise or homework. Okay, let's follow the definition. Let's assume that a equals y plus z over 2, where both y and z are in the interval from a to b. Okay. So what does it mean? This means y is bigger than or equal to a, and z is bigger than or equal to a. And if you want something bigger than or equal to a plus something bigger than or equal to a divided by 2 equal to a, then the only possible choice would be y equal z equal a. And then y and z cannot be distinct point. Okay, then follow the definition, x equals a is a vertex. Now let's look at a two-dimensional um, convex set. Let's say the unit square with one corner at the origin, and this will be at the origin. So for this set, there are four vertices if we look at it and inspect it, right? The 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 are the four vertices of the square. Could you prove this rigorously as we did for example 1? Give it a try. Now, um, let's look at an example probably uh, not so obvious and uh, in in 2D, let's consider the disk. Okay, it's a unique disk, x squared plus y squared less than 1, centered at the origin with radius 1. And I say that every point at the circle where x squared plus y equals 1 is an extreme point. So notice I did not use vertex. So this is an extreme point. Vertex and extreme point are um, geometrically not exactly the same, okay? But we have the same definition for them. Let's use that definition. So would you be able to prove that following the definition? Give it a try. Okay, so we have learned in the past that um, the image of a convex set is a convex set. And now here we want to put a remark, and the remark says that the image of a vertex under an affined mapping need not be a vertex.
we demonstrate this through an example. Let's say I have the following triangle, which we know is a convex set, and I identify three vertices. I call them 1, 2, and 3. So um, here I give you the coordinate. 1 is at the origin, 2 is at 1, 1, and 3 is at 2, 0. And uh, we consider a mapping z simply equal x. So this is an, an affine mapping. It's even a linear mapping. Okay. What is the image of this mapping? Well, if uh, an x, y is in this triangle, and then you know the value of x would range from 0 to 2. So that is the image of the mapping. Notice that this is an interval, which is a convex set. And for this convex set, we have two vertices, z equals 0 and z equal 2. And we see that this convex set has two vertices. One is z is 0, and the other z is 2. And we see that z equals to 0 is attained at 1, which is the vertex of the triangle. And z equal 2 is attained at 3, which is also a vertex of the triangle. This is an example for this case. The claim is not general. Okay? Think about it. What we would like to point out here to match our original remark at the beginning is that 2 here is a vertex of the triangle. But the value attained at 2, which will be z equal 1, is not a vertex of the image of this set. OK, we now have a proposition. And this is number 8. It says, if the set of feasible value is bounded below, then the minimum is attained at a vertex of the feasible region. Now, the proof of this proposition is not really hard. I am going to leave this as a homework, so give it a try. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you next time.